everyone, Melissa Bender here from www.fitnessbender.com. I have an exercise challenge for you today, so it's only six exercise moves, but you're going to repeat them based on your fitness level. Check my website for how many times you should go through everything. So, let's get started. Okay, so I am using weights for today's exercises. Normally we just do body weight exercises, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit today. I'm using an Olympic size bar, so it weighs 45 pounds without weights, and I figured that's a good starting point. Um, if you don't have any bar or exercise equipment at your house, just do the exercises with body weight and you will still get results, okay? So, let's get started. We're gonna do squats first, so if you have a bar, Pick it up, put it behind you, make sure you use good form, bending your knees and keeping your back straight as you lift up, always lifting with your legs, not your back. And then you're going to put this on your back and you're going to put your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. You're going to keep your core tight so it's working and your back straight throughout the entire movement. You're going to stick your butt backwards into the squat position until your thighs come parallel with the ground. I should probably hang on to this. Um, and then you're going to come up, squeezing your butt tight, and bring it all the way up. Make sure you breathe throughout the entire exercise. And as always, keep your back nice and straight. And let me show you from the side. So my thighs get parallel with the ground, my back stays straight, butt stays sticking out toward the back wall. Come up, squeeze your tush, breathe. Hopefully you're not talking as much as I am. And again. Okay, next we're gonna do lunge kicks and I'm gonna keep my weight right where it was. And this time we are going to step back carefully into a lunge position. Come up, whoop, and kick. Squat, kick, that's two. And as always, use proper form. Front thigh comes parallel with the ground, not crossing your toes. Back knee goes straight down to the ground, but doesn't quite touch. Doing the other side now, and make sure you have lots of room. <laughs> make sure you're going slowly enough to make sure you really have your balance, because you don't want to fall while you're doing this. <laughs> okay, next I'm doing barbell curls. You can also do these with dumbbells, with kettlebells, even with soup cans. And I wanted to point out, just because I said this thing happens to weigh 45 pounds, doesn't mean you have to start at 45 pounds. You can start with no weights, or you could start with 2 pounds, uh, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, whatever works for you, okay? So for curls, you're just bringing it up to your shoulders, and slowly controlled back down. And up, breathing, and down. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. Your uh, feet are flat on the floor, a little bit more than hip distance apart. Your core is tight, your butt is tight, everything is protecting your back, and you're just isolating your arm muscles. Okay? Ooh, this wow. Do it from the side. Do it from the side. <laughs> you're too cute. I love that bra. Thank you. So do I. <laughs> Has a cool back. Oh, that's the Body Rock Sport one, eh? Yep. Thank you, Body Rock Sport. Sincerely, oh. men. <laughs> okay, next we are doing rows. So you're going to hold the barbell or your dumbbells down so your arms are nice and straight. Your feet are planted a little bit more than hip distance apart. As always, your core is tight, protecting your back. Your back stays nice and straight throughout this. You're going to bend forward at your hips, letting your arms go straight down. And then you're going to come back up through the backs of your thighs, your glutes, keeping your butt tight, and stand up really nice and straight. 
go back down. This is really working your tush and the backs of your thighs. I'm going to show it from the side. And make sure you breathe. Final exercise of the set, um, we're going to do get-ups. I'm going to use a kettlebell. I chose just a little five pound one. Again, this exercise does not need to be done with weights. It's plenty challenging without them, so don't feel bad if you don't have them or if you're not ready to use them yet. It's a hard exercise, <laughs> okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down. If you're using a kettlebell or a weight, bring it up above your head. We'll start with our right arm, bend your right knee, and put your left knee bent underneath it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get up. If you can do this without using your hand, don't use it. If you need it to help push yourself up, then go ahead and use it. And then we're going to keep this hand lifted, drive our left knee up. Okay? And we're going to keep doing this side until we're halfway through our reps. And then we're going to switch. That's two. Make sure you breathe. Three. I'm on the other side now. So my left leg is bent, right leg underneath, left arm straight in the air, and I'm just standing up, driving my right leg up. Is that four? Mm-hmm. Five. Um, okay, thank you everyone for working out with us today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. It's a little bit different. Be looking for a really nice, long, full workout tomorrow. I have a day off, so we're working out hard. Um, so check the website for the workout breakdown and for all of our new free workouts, www.fitnessbender.com. See you there.